uh, testimony speak for itself. She said she never talked to me, and she said she heard. So that doesn't say anything, but basically gossip. But is that true? What about the ruling today? Yeah, are y'all not interested in about the ruling? Or well, how, we, about, we, how about ASC saying take to the streets? Would y'all like to talk about well, that? Would you, you consider that an insurrection? Can I ask I you? Think, I, think you should, I think you should be asking Democrats, are they going to call for peace? here in our city or are they or are they calling for violence because everything i've heard out of them is they're calling for violence the president i'm on record peace. always saying that january 6th was wrong and i'm on record saying that it shocked me and i don't understand why the national guard wasn't here why wasn't the national guard here and then another question is what about ray f why isn't he on television with the january 6th committee so I'm not the one you need to be asking questions to. You should be asking Democrats today, are they gonna call for peace? Are they gonna call for people to abide by the laws today in this in this important historic ruling? Or are they going to continue what they always do, which is riot, damage, attack the Supreme Court? Are they gonna burn it down because that's what they've said? Are they gonna be attacking pregnancy resource centers, women's clinics, churches, and firebombing them like James Revenge and Ruth sent us? I certainly hope not. I think we should be protecting life and we should be we should be calling for everyone to to obey the law. Congress can you say yes or no? Did you ask for a pardon? Can I you can say, yes say or that no? our attorney general needs to enforce the laws too. And then why isn't Nancy Pelosi and everybody calling for the National Guard over there? These are the questions that need to be asked. Congresswoman, if Republicans retake the House, do you expect and do you want to see more abortion restrictions passed? I, I'm on record. I, I believe in life at conception. I would love to see abortion ended in the United States. That would be my ultimate goal. And, and as far as pardons are concerned, I think we should pardon Julian Assange. I think we, sh we should pardon Edward Snowden. Those people Did you ask for one? You know what? You're a member of the press. You should care about what I just said. It really matters. I mean, honestly, at this point, I'm surprised Marjorie Taylor Greene doesn't just yell squirrel and then run the opposite way. Here, the Georgia Republican is doing everything humanly possible to deflect from the question at hand here, which is, yes or no, did you ask Donald Trump for a pardon? And look, I'm not a lawyer, so take what I say here with a grain of salt, but I am a human being with common sense, so I would imagine that if you didn't ask Trump for a pardon, it would probably be in your interest to just say that. Just like if you didn't set a house on fire and somebody asked you about it, you probably wouldn't hesitate to say no, because if you instead danced around the question, people would probably think you set the house on fire, just like they think that Marjorie Taylor Greene asked for a pardon. Consider too, if her goal is to convince anyone that she didn't seek a pardon, she could always just testify under oath, just like Cassidy Hutchinson did when she exposed Marjorie Taylor Greene right here. Did uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene contact you? No, she didn't contact me about it. I heard that she had asked White House Counsel's Office for a pardon from Mr. Philbin, but I didn't frequently communicate with Ms. Greene. So I think it's pretty telling while Marjorie Taylor Greene is perfectly willing to claim on Twitter that she didn't seek a pardon, that at no point is she volunteering to refute it under oath. But hey, maybe we should just take her word for it. Not like she's lied before, right? Just finished with our meetings here at the White House this afternoon. We had a great planning session for our January 6th objection. We aren't going to let this election be stolen by Joe Biden and the Democrats. President Trump won by a landslide. Call your House reps, call your senators from your states. We've got to make sure they're on board and we already have a lot of people engaged. Okay, stay tuned. Oh, well, maybe she has lied. What's pretty remarkable too is how in this very statement by Marjorie Taylor Greene, she tries to equate AOC telling people to take to the streets to protest the Supreme Court gutting row, which is our constitutional right as Americans, with the January 6th insurrection. If you needed any indication of just how remorseless those who helped plan the insurrection are, this should make that abundantly clear. Like, so that we're clear, a coup attempt by armed insurrectionists incited by the then president is an insurrection, protesting a far right court rolling back rights for the first time in this nation's history is not an insurrection. And I'll just end with this. This video clip ends with Marjorie Taylor Greene saying that she'd love to see abortion ended in the United States. So on the off chance that anyone's watching this who thinks that what the Republicans have just done by gutting Roe was the end goal, it is very, very, very clearly not. 
Let's be crystal clear, they will end all abortion nationwide in all cases, including rape and incest, and even in instances where the mother's life is in danger. If Republicans take power, they will pass a nationwide abortion ban, and this 6-3 Supreme Court will invariably uphold it. So if you're someone who doesn't vote, who votes sometimes, who's voted for both Democrats and Republicans, and you don't believe that a 12 year old who was just molested by her father should have to give birth to her sister in the United States of America, then make sure you have a plan to vote. Because the choice here is twofold. You can either choose to give more power to the Democrats, or you can give more power to the party of Marjorie Taylor Greene. And our basic human rights depend on your help stripping these people of every single ounce of power that they currently have. To see more videos like this, click the subscribe button right here on the screen. And to support my work beyond that, check out my podcast, No Lie with Brian Tyler Cohen, where I cover the week's most important stories and interview the biggest players in the world of politics, including President Biden, Kamala Harris, Pete Buttigieg, Elizabeth Warren, Katie Porter, and so many more. The link is also right here on this screen. And finally, to take action yourself and sign petitions on the most important issues, go to briantylercohen.com petition.